everyone, it's Peter here from Face Aerobics and thank you so much for coming by and having a look at the videos. And I really appreciate it and you know I really hope that you enjoyed our video, our Christmas uh, message uh, from John and myself. Uh, there were a lot of people that just, you know, the people that I know that watched it that just loved it and I got so many emails from people saying how wonderful it was. So I think you all did enjoy it and please do have a look at it because I'm introducing my husband to you and I think it's really important that you get to know him because it's very much a part of uh, this work that I do in the background and very supportive of what I do. So thank you for all your lovely comments about that video and all your lovely comments about my husband. He was so chuffed, he was just so, you know, amazed that people people would say such lovely things. Okay, the other thing I really do hope is that you had a lovely day on Christmas Day. Uh, John and I had Christmas dinner here, as you know. We actually uh, spent the day cleaning up the house, which uh, tends to get into a bit of a mess with all the dogs. And then we had dinner at Christmas dinner at home here, and uh, I cooked John a roast, and I made myself vegetables along with the roast vegetables, and it was very, very delicious. So I have some photos of the dogs, as promised, dressed up in their Christmas garland, um, which they weren't too happy about, and you'll probably have a bit of a laugh. So I hope you guys had a beautiful day. I know we did. And, you know, I hope it was everything that you wanted it to be. Okay, guys, it's Face Aerobics Friday today. Also, what do you think about my new look? Do you like it? And also I'd like to thank all the subscribers that send a lot of well wishes and gifts. This is a beautiful gift from my friend June in um, overseas. She's a subscriber but also a beautiful friend. And she sent me this most gorgeous, gorgeous silk um, scarf and in my colours as well and uh, June really knows me she um, she has this uncanny knack of knowing me because I even used to paint silk and do these sort of things so I was just so overwhelmed when I received this in the mail so June I love you and thank you so much okay so today it's about face aerobics Friday and we're going to be doing a exercise on the crow's feet now this is a very simple little exercise and um, with this exercise I don't want you to push it too hard because you, there's one part to the exercise where you can just do it gently or there's another part to the exercise, the second part I show you, which is the same exercise but you can just do it a little bit more vigorously and if you do do it a bit, bit more vigorously you will start working out this muscle here called the temporalis. Okay so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using our two fingers. We're going to be placing them on the corners of our eyes and we're going to be stretching them gently. We're also going to be pushing back. Now don't push back too far to where your eyes look like this. Just push back gently and up. That's all you need to do. So the first exercise is all we're going to do is close our eye like this. I did a, a video recently on the, the muscles of the eye and I'd really like you to go back and have a look at that because we're using the muscles, um, we're activating these muscles as we uh, do this exercise because um, as you're activating the muscles it's just gently pulling in the uh, muscle and it's exercising it. So let's try it again. So we, we're just using this muscle here called the palpebrae reflex. This is the first exercise. So gently up gently don't don't as I say don't stretch just nice and gently and just close your eyes and it's just your eyelid that you're doing okay now as you're doing this you should be feeling a gentle pull along here in this area and what that's doing is just gently pulling in and out ever so slightly just enough to exercise and build up that muscle a bit because as the muscle builds the skin will start to stretch over the muscle and it will um, all those little wrinkles here will disappear now the thing is is that when we smile we still have these wrinkles I still have them when I smile but really it's when your face is at rest is when you want to be able to um, have no wrinkles on your face so again we're going to be working here but this time we're going to be using the orbicularis oculi okay so we're going to be using the bigger muscle and because it's attached here this muscle the temporalis is going to start moving as well so let's give this one a go pop your fingers at the bottom of your eye just stretch up gently and then see the difference I'm not closing my eyes I'm actually moving the big round muscle back and forth and my fingers are moving back and forth with it. 
this is a great exercise to do in bed when you're laying in bed because all the gravity is you know, sort of pushing down and it's giving you much more resistance, which is a really good thing, is what you need. So, and as we do this exercise, also concentrate in this area here because it's going to tighten up this area. Now it's not going to tighten it up right away of course, but as it tightens what will happen is that it starts to pull up and you get again a lovely lift. So you've got two types of exercises to do. Now remember don't do them too strongly because this area here, let me get my pen, again this area here is the area the crow's feet and in here just that little corner of your eye uh, that starts to droop and hang over. Now because that is a very uh, sensitive and very thin area you have to be gentle with that area. Okay so no no really you know vigorous exercise there just be very gentle with it. Now if you are a bit more advanced and had be doing my eye exercises the ones that I do like this if you've been doing that exercise you can probably work that area a little bit more vigorously but if you've only just started I would suggest you just start gently do 50 repetitions and um, just you know just involve it into your routine. Remembering that you have a forehead routine, you have your eye group routine, you do your nose, you do your upper and lower cheek muscles and then you do your neck. And that's the routine that you do every day and it should only take you 8 to 10 minutes a day and um, then you have a rest and then you come back the next 24 hours and do the routine again. Alright guys, well I hope that's helped and uh, please just stay and have a look at the photos. I hope you enjoy them. There's one there of Mishka and she's got her Christmas beads on. She looks like a little old lady. I should have given her a handbag, but anyway, I didn't. But she's she's just not happy about her Christmas beads. Um, and there was one of my cat, Roni, who I, I am incessantly obsessed with photographing. Uh, I put a bow tie on him and then he ripped it off and then he just laid in the kitchen just like victoriously that he got his bow tie off. So, And then of course there's Ozzy, he's the bigger dog and he's got his Christmas garland on and his bow tie and he's just standing there posing. But I'll put them up on the annotations and let you know who's who. Alright guys, well you have a lovely day um, wherever you are in the world. I hope you're still celebrating and um, be safe and we'll see you next time. Bye now. <music>